Yeah, well, look, this is crucial because uh, people love riding their bikes. Mm -hmm. I don't think people are in love with endurance training for running. Mm. There's a small percentage of uh, of marathoners who absolutely love running, and I was one of those runners. Mm -hmm. um, but in a triathlon, most people dread the run, especially the marathon. Um, it's the key part of the race. And, you know, our number four is not doing enough running off the bike. You know, I see people doing lots of training for their running and they've never ridden before it. But what, what is the key component of the triathlon? Ride, then run. It's not ride, have a rest for half a day, then go for a run when you're feeling better. So you need to practice the component in the race in your training. And that's the biggest mistake I see people do in their run training is not getting off the bike and then running. And, you know, in our program, we have lots of little runs off the bike when you've done a hard intensity session on the bike. We have an easy run off the bike twice a week. We have the weekend where we do an endurance run off the bike and then we do another short um, uh, run where you've done a long endurance ride. So we reverse those two. There's only one day during our program where they run fresh, mm. only once. And that is probably the reverse of most programs. Most programs are probably running fresh, yep. doing running sessions without being off the bike. They might do yep. one, yep. quote-unquote, brick session, which is ride than run. And, and look, our program is quite controversial, but you know our experience has shown that most people who run through our program are the better runners at the end of a triathlon. And why? Because when they get off the bike, they've done it in training that many times. That's what feels normal running off the bike. People who've just done a lot of running training get off the bike and then think, well, they are actually fit runners, mm. but they're not fit runners off the bike. Mm. And there's a huge difference yeah. there. So they get off the bike thinking, I'm, gonna, I'm nailing this. And they think, oh, what's wrong with my legs? It's because they haven't practiced it. Mm. So it's foreign to them. Mm. And they run poorly. How many times has someone said that to you? I'm a really good runner. I can run this time, but for some reason I just can't do it in a race. And yeah. And a lot of the times we... Uh, try to every now and then we do some specific time trialing on the bike swim and run individually but then I'll put them together and show people their 10k time trial against their 10k time trial off the bike and see what the difference is a hard bike session then run 10k off the bike and see what the difference is between a fresh 10k because you would almost say to people I don't care what your fresh 10k is true because you're not yeah. ever going to do that in a race no yeah. and We've got to a point where, and I tried to do this in my career, was to get my 10K off the bike as close to my 10K fresh as possible. That told me I was a good runner. Mm. And that was one of my goals all the time was how close can I get this to my fresh 10K.